Hey everyone, High Flyers Tag Team back with a new video again today. On today's video, we'll be talking about the brand new Bandai Singular Point Godzilla. So let's get him out of this bag right here. All right. So I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with this design. It's come. It's the new official Godzilla design from the upcoming show, Godzilla Singular Point, that will be hitting Netflix. Uh, already a few episodes are out in Japan. You can actually watch them in America if you have access to the episodes. They stream. But it will be out, uh, I believe, by the end of this week, actually, on Netflix. So we will be seeing this Godzilla in action very soon. Um, so yeah, this is the Bandai version of him. I gotta say, from the like, you know, from the picture stuff, all this, it looks. I actually think it looks really good in person. Um, the design is a different question, but the figure itself, I think, does look pretty good. Um, you know, with the jet, I didn't really talk about the paint and stuff too much, but the paint was pretty good in that figure. I think it just blended in with everything. Um, this one, I mean, I do love the silvers and stuff in it. Although I do have an issue where they just kind of stop, if you guys can see, silver, 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 and they just stop right here. I don't know if that's just Bandai being lazy or if that's actually something in the show. I would assume that's just Bandai being lazy since the CGI model I don't see them just giving up randomly like that in the show. But other than that little blemish, the paint seems to look pretty good. He has no pupils, um, which makes no sense because in the show, like his pupils are something that stands out in the actual design. As far as we've seen, he has these very hypnotic eyes, which I'll try to show you on the render whenever we look at it. Um, and the jaw here on the front doesn't split as much almost it doesn't look like as uh it looks like it does in the show like it's not as wide but it still definitely has that big jaw there but let's go on ahead and look at some of the features so his head does not rotate his jaw does not open and close typical bandai stuff um the arms can go about 180 before they get stuck on the leg there um as you guys can see it looks like Looks like there's some paint chipped under the arm there. Um, same with that arm. Uh, for the legs here, um, they can go roughly... You can, you can actually get them to do a 360 if you have the arms right position. So you can actually... Uh, you can actually... Yep, you can do full 360s with the legs. Very nice. Um, back here with the tail. Uh, at the seam, no articulation. But... There's no, yeah, so the tail looks like it should have two points of articulation, but nope. So only the arms and the legs have articulation on this figure. Also, on the back of the leg there, you see the toe has zero paint on it. I do definitely think that's the Bandai being lazy for sure. I'm not for sure. Um, looking at the card now, as you guys can see right here, it has a render of SP Godzilla, a new render uh, that I don't believe is what's shown. From the show yet um open it up here same thing you see that render again uh all the good information in the back there the singular point logo um so yeah i mean this figure is literally just two colors um and some of them they don't even fill in the other color uh but let's go ahead and do some comparisons here so first up let's do the obvious one let's compare him to the singular point jet jaguar um, so let's move them over right here. All right. So as you guys can tell, they're actually, now you might not be able to tell with the camera, but because of the angle, but uh, to me, like in person, they are roughly the same exact height, uh, because the peak of Jet's head. So these two are roughly about the same size. Um, that's those two compared. Um, all right. So next up comparing it to the... Godzilla 2014 figure um, the singular point figure is much bigger than him uh, you might be able to tell actually uh, again there's a lot of angles and stuff I know you might guys might not be picking up on but for my angle it does look like singular point is much bigger so very nice very nice and here he is next to the 8 inch series battle roar Kong um, and shockingly, like I'm trying to tell right here, but honestly, he's not much smaller than him. 
it's kind of surprising me that these two are roughly now from this angle yeah never mind he's a bit bigger but from the front it was kind of hard for me to tell um but yeah no he comes up to about his nose here so yep nope he doesn't scale up to the eight inch kong or anything like that so yeah guys there you go now mine did have a few blemishes and there's these things on top that i still don't know what they are um bandai did seem to do a pretty good job with it other than a few paint issues that i don't get they didn't paint the pupils in any way uh the toes right there don't have any paint the tip of the tail doesn't the tail has no articulation it's just completely sealed but i think that's typical bandai stuff but anyways what do you guys think of this figure? Do you want this figure? I think it looks pretty good. I also wish they did paint red on these, but for some reason they didn't. Maybe it won't be like that the whole time in the show, but it looks like it's going to be. Hopefully, though, we'll, we'll see. Overall, though, yes, I'm glad to have it. He does look pretty good overall, and yeah, it's classic Bandai. So, what do you guys think of this? Uh, are you excited to get this? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, as always, please share and subscribe. Hope everyone's a great day, and as always, peace out, and bye-bye.